we try the best we can to make it work, but it's, it's tough. It's tough because everyone's mentally already trying to stay positive. For Taylor Fole and his co-workers at Bayou Bar and Grill in Midtown Memphis, the only thing certain these days is uncertainty. It's been tough, but we're making it. With COVID-19 capacity limits for indoor dining, full his workers and others in Shelby County's restaurant industry struggle to make ends meet or work one of fewer available shifts. And where you make someone really happy by saying, hey, you can stay later today or you can stay long the shift, you're making someone else. It's always it's always a, a pick and choose and a, and a give and take. A cash infusion for Shelby County restaurant workers could be on the way through a proposal unveiled Wednesday by Shelby County Mayor Lee Harris's office. Of the two and a half million dollars from Shelby County's rainy day fund would assist nearly 4,000 workers, including servers, bartenders, hostesses, bussers, and kitchen staff who live in Shelby County and work in a locally owned Shelby County restaurant. If approved, applications would open to those eligible for a $1,000 relief check. If that's something that's within the budget and they can find ways to do it and make it work and keep this great city going, that would be awesome for all of us to, to have that. I mean, it would really help out tremendously. The proposal passed its initial step in committee Wednesday morning, but not all Shelby County commissioners were on board. I've tried to support our local restaurants. If they were at 50% occupancy and had just any little bit of latitude, we wouldn't be where we are today. Making small, small businesses dependent on the government is not the solution. There's no clear funding source. The full Shelby County Commission is expected to discuss and vote on this proposal Monday, requiring seven votes to pass. Restaurant workers in this area and across Shelby County are expected to be watching that closely. Reporting in East Memphis, Brad Broders, Local 24 News.